Okay, we're here with Ryan, the homeowner, and, uh, and we've got his deck is all complete, and we wanna just get a little bit of insight from his brain and see how he feels about the finished project. Can you believe we're standing here on your finished deck after all this time? No, honestly, I can't. It's been a long time coming, and we were really excited and very happy with the finished project. You know, it turned out really absolutely beautifully. Uh, all the colors you chose, all the styles of everything that you chose. Let's talk a little bit about this particular portion of the deck, because of course, there's two big sections. Um, on this section, you made some changes from what was here originally. Yes, yeah, we decided since we were gonna start from scratch, that we wanted to just take advantage of the space. And so we made the deck a little wider and then we pushed it out further away from the house. And then we also decided to put railing on the deck that kind of completes the look of the deck. It matches the, the upper deck and then it just, it, it also uh, makes it more safe. Um, but we're really happy with those decisions because we, like again, we just maximized the space and kind of created a, an outdoor living space for the basement. I'll tell you what, this Trex decking product, this color that you chose is really gorgeous. It, the black handrail really complements the, the color of decking and uh, the blind fastening system that you chose, all of those things work together to just make an absolutely gorgeous project. Are you happy with the color that you chose for your decking? Yeah, absolutely. We uh, actually could not have picked a better color. It just looks natural from a distance and it goes really well with the color of the house as well. For sure. Uh, I think it's fun to remember the decisions that we were making about what you wanted to do and to try to build that together in your mind. So Corey's up on the upper deck. Let's run up there and catch up with him and we'll talk about some of the choices you made up there. All right, sounds good, let's do it. All right, Ryan, we're up here on your brand new deck and this thing really turned out great. What are some things that really stand out to you? Some decisions that you made that you just absolutely love? You know, some things that I didn't even think about once until I met with my contractor was uh, deck board layout and the picture frame. And I honestly did not want to do it at first, but now I, I truly see why you do it on such a, an expansive deck. It really breaks it up. And when spring comes and we can bring out our um, our decorations, it actually lays it out like three separate rooms. Now that we've got three picture frames, we can have a table on this side and I've got couches on this side and it actually just breaks the deck up and, and makes it feel uh, just a little more put together. Yeah. And that decision was very minor, but when it's done and complete, it just adds such a great detail to the overall project that I'm so glad that, uh, that my contractor brought it up. Yeah, that's a, it looks great. Now, one of the decisions that we made when we were at the par yard was regarding the rain escapes. Now, do you regret that decision or what do you think of it? No, the rain escapes, honestly, is one of the best decisions we made. I have everything that goes on the deck in the summertime is below the deck now and it stays dry year round. When the kids wanna go outside, they can go under the deck to get dry. It's just been a great addition to the deck that allows for that space to be used year round underneath. Yeah. And, and it keeps that whole space dry. We have a lot of dirt, a lot of rock, and it just, it's not muddy anymore. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna allow us to build that space out in the future when the budget allows for it. Nice. Now this railing system really turned out great. Yeah. I love your choice of lighting on it. You went with the post caps and the wedge lights. Do you think it offers enough lighting out here? Yeah, I do. Uh, and we kind of wanted to be on more of the minimalist side with the lighting. We didn't want the deck to stand up too bright in, in nighttime, you know, for our neighbors mm -hmm. and for, uh, I guess, the road. Uh, there's a lot of people that walk in the, kind of in the, in the backyard area um, on the street. We didn't want it to be too bright. We just wanted it to be a functional lighting for when we're on the deck. And so going with the post caps as well as the post lights, uh, I think that it lights the deck up plenty. Nice. Yeah. Well, there you have it. We are all done with this project. I want to say thank you to Becky and Ryan for allowing us to come in here and film for the last few months. Uh, really watch this project come together. We hope that you got some really good inspiration and maybe some good ideas for your deck project. If, uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Trex is available at all your local PAR Lumber locations and you can visit trex.com for more information. This has been another episode of Your Weekend Warriors. We'll see you next time.